Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, I thought we'd do another kind of parrot health related video. I've done quite a few of these. I have a whole playlist on my channel if you haven't seen it already. Things like respiratory health, uh, feather health, beak health, foot health. Um, so we're doing something slightly different today and we are gonna be talking about parrot poops. <laughs> something we experience a lot of uh, because parrots can poop usually about for every 15 minutes and if they're awake for 12 hours you're looking at up to 50 poops a day so there's plenty to look at um, but a parrot can tell you a lot about its health through what its poops look like so I'm going to talk about poops today. Now what I've actually done is I got a little bit kind of creative and I have basically drawn different parrot poops and what they might mean. So a few things to discuss here. Firstly, they are digital drawings, so they are not exactly what your parrot poop is gonna look like, but it's gonna give you an idea of potentially what's going on. Secondly, I am not a vet. I cannot diagnose anything, and the images I'm gonna show you are not intended to diagnose anything with your birds. It's more to give you an idea of some of the abnormal signs to look out for. If your bird has abnormal poos or any other signs of illness, go and see an avian vet. Please don't leave me a comment saying, my bird's poo looks like this, what do I do? I'm gonna tell you to go to a vet. If you need help finding a vet, please leave me a comment. I'm more than happy to help you. I've found vets all over the world, uh, avian vets that is, because you do need to see someone who is trained to treat birds. And if you really are struggling or the emergency vets are shut or anything like that, there is actually a service um, called Vetsta, which are virtual appointments. So you can have a video consultation with a vet and quite often there are same day appointments. This isn't like a sponsored video or anything. I do have like an affiliate link and a discount code, but I wanted to mention it because it's a really useful service to have on hand just in case you need it. So there'll be all the uh, info down in the description for Vetster. I'll also have my discount code, which is birdnerd25, and that'll give you 25% off your first appointment. But whenever I've had a look, I've had people use it before, and the appointments are very affordable compared to some of the in-person consultations. And um, it's just useful to have it on hand. You know you can speak to somebody. And from my experience, when I've checked, there's always been same day appointments. That's really good to know. The other thing as well is I'm obviously sitting to one side. So I'm gonna show you all the images on this side of the screen. But there is actually going to be on our Best Behaved Birds website, our behavior and training consultation website, we're gonna have like a full kind of poop chart. So you can refer back to it and have a look and see all the images together. Cause I thought it'd be really useful to have and people can refer back to. If you've got other bird friends, you can send them the link to that and they can go and have a look. So I wanted to include that too but I also wanted to make it into a video so you can kind of uh, hear me chat about things and we can talk about each poop as we go along. So without further ado let's talk about poops. First of all let's talk about the components of bird poops. There are three different components to a bird's poops. The first one is the feces themselves that's the tube like structures that you see that are typically in normal poops um, green or brown. You've also got the urates which are essentially like uh, solidified uric acid that is normally white and cream in colour and then you've got the urine as well which is normally clear and that creates the whole poops. Now every bird's normal poop is going to be slightly different so you need to know your own bird's poops and what's normal for your bird um, because there's going to be slight variations but typically a normal poo is going to have the consistency of toothpaste and it's going to have all of those components all nice together in the usual kind of coloration and size and without any odors as well normal bird poops shouldn't smell apart from sometimes the morning poop the very first poop of the day that they've held in all overnight because you know there's a lot of poop there so that's why sometimes that has a slight odor but most poops throughout the day shouldn't have an odour and we're going to talk a little bit more about that later on in the video but that's the typical healthy style of a bird poop. Now I'm going to have four images on screen now these are what I can consider healthy normal poops so here's at the top you can see we've got uh, brown and green but at the bottom there's also red and purple and I wanted to talk about this because I've had plenty of messages over the years like ah my bird's doing red poops what's going on? If you fed your bird something red or purple it's quite possible that it's gonna come out the other end, red or purple. For example, uh, red bell peppers, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, or red cabbage are all going to have uh, an effect on the coloration of your bird's poop. So don't be alarmed if there's one or two of those very strange colorations, especially if the urine and the urates are a normal color. It's only really when you're having consistent issues or if the red really does look like blood rather than just the kind of tinted color of the poops, but that is just something to bear in mind that food can have an impact on the color of your bird's poop, but you do want the poops to be looking quite normal throughout the day. 
Now, as well as this, the amount of urine can sometimes change depending on what you're feeding your birds. For example, if they're on a nice, healthy, fresh diet and they're getting loads of water-rich foods like vegetables and fruit, you may see more urine uh, coming out. And if that's normal for your bird and you know that you can correlate it to the diet, shouldn't be anything to worry about. But again, it's all about taking everything into consideration. And if you're ever, ever unsure, please just go to your vet and just get things checked out. Now, when things change, for example, over here, where we've got too much urine, and there's just a normal poops. This is what we call polyurea, so too much urine. Uh, this can be a sign of kidney disease, infection, or stress. Again, I'm saying these things broadly. I'm not a vet, I'm not diagnosing. I'm just giving you an idea of some of the typical things that can cause poops to look this way. Um, so that is just something to consider, and any excess urine that can't be attributed to the diet should always be checked out. Now, I mentioned that green poops can be normal, especially for seed eaters or if your bird is eating lots of green vegetables. But if the urine or the urates are turning a pea green colour or yellow or dark green, that is definitely a cause for concern. This is typically a sign of either a general infection or a sign of kidney and liver disease. And that's just something to bear in mind that, again, a lot of these things can be attributed to various different um illnesses which is why i'm not saying this means this and this means that i'm giving you some suggestions of what it's possible to have caused so um yeah this one is definitely something like a red flag you want to be really be mindful especially if the urates or the urine changes color that's not normal but also if you're getting it all combined with poops that is a pea green color that is definitely something to get checked out with your vet I'd also like to say as well that I did kind of talk about this doing this video on Instagram and I asked people if they wouldn't mind sending me like real photos of poops um, and I had some very kind um, submissions so thank you if you did send me some photos of poops but I realised when I was thinking about it and the poops I wanted to get pictures of it'd probably be impossible to get like lots of different photos of every single poop I want to show so I thought it would be better just to do it in kind of cartoon form um, just because it's a bit kind of easier to visualize so um, again thank you if you did send me photos but I just thought it might be a little bit easier this way and then I can kind of show the differences a bit easier too. If there's lots of bubbles in your bird's poo this could indicate gas in the digestive system which isn't normal for birds it could indicate digestive issues as a whole or it could indicate disease or infection illness that kind of thing too now sometimes there are little bubbles in your bird's poops especially when they squirt them out all over the place that's kind of inevitable but if there's consistent bubbles bubbles in every poo lots of big bubbles that's definitely um something to get checked out as well if your bird's poop like the actual feces the tubular bit is turning very black or very tar like this could either be a sign of internal bleeding or potentially an infection as well so any black poops consistent poops and poops that have that really tar like sticky consistency is something to definitely get checked out asap because it could be a sign as i said of internal bleeding or potentially an infection both of which need to be treated as soon as possible now if there's no urine present in the poops it's possibly a sign of dehydration your bird's not drinking enough maybe they just haven't had a drink in a little while but again something to be keeping an eye on because birds should be having fairly frequent drinks you know at least once an hour i would expect a bird to be having a drink some birds drink more than others. I've noticed that with my cockatiels. They definitely drink less than my conyers. Um, but yeah, you don't want to be having a complete absence of urine because that is definitely something unusual. If there are visible worm segments in your bird's poops, this does suggest an internal parasite infestation. However, not all internal parasite infestations will be present in the poops. You won't be able to see it with the naked eye. You'd have to see it under a microscope. Um, but if you can physically see the worm segments, then that means that there is a really, really heavy infestation going on in your bird's digestive system. Again, there are other ways to tell if your bird potentially has internal parasites, uh, things like weight loss or really kind of heavy diarrhea, um, eating loads, but again, weight loss. Um, but there's loads of different things to bear in mind. Internal parasites can be quite serious for our small birds. So again, any change, I'm going to say it loads in this video, you're going to get really annoyed at me. Any change in your bird's poops, um, just definitely get them checked out. Now, if there's any undigested food coming out in your bird's poops, this is definitely cause for concern. This could suggest issues with the pancreas. It could also be infection, but also it's a very uh, obvious sign of something called PDD. Now, PDD is proventricular dilation disease, also known as macaw wasting disease, but it doesn't just affect macaws. Also, probably more commonly known as avian bornavirus. 
and this is a very serious disease it's what we disease tested our newbies for to make sure they weren't bringing it into our homes because it is contagious and it is very very serious it stops the digestive system working properly because it affects the nerves within the digestive system and if you're interested in the bird's digestive system, I've actually got a video planned all about it, all about each part and what could go wrong, how to look after it. So make sure you are subscribed if you want to learn more about um, sort of parrot anatomy and health and that kind of thing, as well as all my other videos that I like to create. But it is a very serious disease and that is why if you do see any undigested food in your bird's poops, it needs to be checked out to make sure that whatever is going on can be identified and then addressed as well. Now a very large poops that has all of the usual components, so there are plenty of faeces there but you can also see urates and the urine there and if it stinks and it's not the morning, so it's not the morning poops, it's quite possible that this poo is suggesting that your bird is about to lay eggs because your bird can't poop and lay eggs at the same time and quite often when they are kind of nesting or getting hormonal they'll hold all that poop in because in the wild they wouldn't poop in their nest it would attract predators they would hold it all in go away poop you know once maybe twice a day and then come back to the nest so you want to be having a look at this if you know that your bird is DNA sexed male you probably don't need to worry about it although there are sometimes false results but if it's the first poo of the day in the morning and your bird isn't showing any other signs of hormonal behaviour, it's probably just the, the morning poo. But if you've noticed hormonal behaviour and you're not sure if, of, uh, whether your bird is a male or a female or if you know they're female, it's quite possible that eggs are coming. Now I don't recommend encouraging your parrot to lay eggs just because or just because you fancy breeding them or just because you want to let them uh, lay eggs. It isn't always something that goes straight forward. They're not like chickens, they don't have kind of thousands of years of domestication and encouragement to lay eggs in a certain way. Typically when parrots lay eggs it's because they intend or their body intends to create uh, a chick. So you don't want to be doing that just just because so if we can avoid egg laying at all costs that is very beneficial and again I've got a video on hormone management to reduce the chance of your bird going into egg laying mode there'll be a card at the top and a link in the description for that too now any blood present within the poops is definitely something to get checked out this could be again a sign of internal bleeding it could also be a sign of your bird having difficulty passing an egg as well because any kind of blood coming out is probably going to be coming from the digestive system so that could suggest that you know there's a, a tear or something something going on internally and quite often if birds are having trouble pushing eggs out they'll be straining and there may be some blood present in there but it can also be a general sign of disease and illness and infection as well so there are lots of different things going on uh, when you see blood present but again that is another red flag to be very aware of that that needs to be addressed ASAP. If your bird's poop is coming out and it's very sort of yellowy cream in colour, it's quite dry, maybe a bit crumbly, but also if there is any urine that is kind of cream coloured, the urates are very yellow or cream coloured and the faeces are very cream coloured, this would suggest potential pancreas issues as well and not something that's just come on overnight. So again, definitely something to get checked out and get on treatment for because if there's just one poop like this, again I say this a lot, if there's just one kind of random poop and the rest normal you're probably going to be fine with that and you don't have to rush out to the vets you know this is terrible ah, everything's going wrong but if you see consistent poops especially over a day that's definitely a cause for concern and ideally you should be monitoring your bird's health as well by weighing them regularly because as we all know parrots are a prey animal so they're going to hide their signs of illness uh, up until they just can't do it anymore because they're too sick so if we're weighing them regularly we're seeing how much our birds are eating we can give them a physical body exam if they'll allow us we can check on their poops as well then we'll get a good kind of all-round idea of how they're doing at home and then we can you know make a plan from there and I do have a video on the signs of a healthy bird uh, again on our website best behaved birds we've got loads of blog posts about health and training behavior all that kind of stuff so make sure you check that out after this video as well so we've already talked about large smelly poops that have urine urates and uh, feces you can see all the components but it's just really big and smelly we've talked about that but if there are really large poops that are really wet um, you can't really differentiate between the urine, urates and faeces, they're stinky, maybe a bit sticky as well. This is quite likely to be diarrhoea and this is an indicator potentially of internal parasites but also um, various different diseases and infections as well. So diarrhoea shouldn't be ignored because if there's consistent diarrhoea, not only is there something wrong with your bird, but they're also going to get dehydrated as well. So um, 
bear in mind that there's there's differences as i said so large smelly poops when you can see the components quite possibly morning poop or egg laying if it's a big jumble it, maybe it's getting stuck to your bird as well it stinks there's just so much of it and you haven't seen any normal poops either that is definitely a sign of diarrhea if there are no urates present in any of the poops this would suggest there's something wrong with the kidneys because the urates come from the kidneys it's kind of the same as well if there's not much urine sometimes that can be a kidney related issue as well urates and urine are waste products from the kidneys which are sent down into the poops so if there are any lacking of those or an abundance of those that could be a suggestion there's something not quite right going on with the kidneys now if there are very teeny tiny poops or not many poops at all compared to what your bird normally produces this would potentially indicate constipation an internal blockage or your bird not eating very much all of which again suggests that there's something wrong going on internally with your bird they need to be eating the same amount roughly every day you know you want them to be pooping the same um, so we need to be making sure that the size of the poops is correct for our birds too and finally, as I've mentioned already, if your bird's poop stinks, that is not a good sign. Um, typically only the morning poops or egg laying poops are ones that are kind of normal for being stinky. Any other kind of strange smells from poops is a suggestion that there is maybe uh, an infection or disease going on internally um, because there's this myth that bird poops smell and they don't, <laughs> they definitely don't. I mean, if you let them build up and build up, which is just gross, then yes, of course that would smell, but a poop fresh out of uh, the cloaca is not gonna stink. So if it does, then again, something to get checked out with your vet. So that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about parrot poops and what they could and couldn't mean. Now, as I said, I've stressed it all the time, but I really, really want you guys to just, if you have any concerns with your birds, just go to your avian vet. Please don't leave me a comment. I get it all the time. DMs when I'm asleep or comments, ah, there's something wrong with my bird, what do I do? I am not a licensed vet. I can't help you, but I can help you find a vet. Or don't forget there is Vetster, the online kind of video consultations. Again, I'll leave the link first thing in the description so you can go and check that out if you want to. Um, it's just something good to have on hand just so you've got peace of mind that you've got different options as well. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this kind of parrot health series, let me know and I can make other kind of parrot health related content. And I'm always open to suggestions for videos if you'd like to suggest any to me because uh, I want to make content that you guys want to see as well as content that I enjoy creating as well. So in the meantime, again, thanks for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day. Take care and see you later.